Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. Today, we're playing on the CD32. We are playing, now that's what I call games. There is 100 games on this disc, and I haven't played many of them, but I'm going to start a series. And this is going to be the first part, which is the first 10 games of this 100. And this is Jamie Wonder's Games, CD32. Now that's what I call games. Let's go. Okay, this is the game select screen, and there are 100 games on this disc, and I haven't played many of them, but it's going to take me a very long time to get through them, which is why I've come up with this idea for my channel, and hopefully going to be a series. Hopefully a continuing series if you guys enjoy it. Now what I'm going to do is each month I'm going to upload one, maybe two videos each month, and each video is going to contain 10 games off of this list. And over the course of time, eventually, I'll get to play all 100 games, and find out what ones are good, and what ones are bad. Now hopefully this will be a success, if you want me to continue with it, please do let me know in the comments box below. But anyway, we'll start this party off with Air Ace 2, fly your World War 2 biplane over enemy territory, and it's a joystick. Now this is what I call games, 100 games with the C-32, this is game 1. Let's go. Air Ace 2. Shoot em up construction kit game loader, copyright 1989 Palace Software. Please wait while Air Ace 2 loads. Okay, this is Air Ace 2, and as you can see, it's a downwards perspective shoot em up. A little bit like 1942 or Banshee, but not as good as graphics as Banshee, not even close. Now this is a very, very difficult game. I've had a few goes prior to this, and it's tough. You don't earn any additional weapons, all we get is this double forward shot. But we are a biplane, and these enemies move around all over the place. No particular system or sequence to their movement. But they do have very, very fast bullets, and bullets that are the same as mine. It's a one-hit-die situation. Now, I assume you have no time limit, and I'm assuming probably no boss battle, but then I haven't played it long enough to find out. Now, your score is down the bottom, and your life is not present on the screen. Uh, but I'm assuming no time limit. Now, this is a very, very difficult shoot -em up Haven't got particularly far. These biplanes are very, very difficult, especially the ones that move diagonally. The ones that go in a straight line, I can handle those. It's these ones. One hit dies. Right, we now have people on the ground. And when you shoot them, you actually kill the group of them. So one shot kills about six people. But we also get tanks. Now this is actually slightly easier than the biplanes. But the biplanes do appear again. We also have guns or turrets. There's a lot going on. I'm definitely not welcome here. This is definitely an easier section, but it won't stay like this for long. It never does. Those biplanes will appear, and at the moment we've got 7,800 points. That would be absolutely fantastic if you can get weapon like grades, but I don't think you can. And if you do get boss battles, which I don't think you will, I'm sure they're going to be very, very difficult. Right, we have trucks, and the biplanes are back, and the groups of people are still present, and also the turrets are still present. Now the game doesn't particularly move incredibly smoothly. The frame rate is not the best. Right, shooting the barrels also gives you points. Barrels are highly explosive. Okay, this is actually the furthest I've got now. These biplanes are moving around all over the place, and they shoot randomly. This is not bad. We have a choo-choo train. Shoot the train. Is that game over? No, I've got one more life. It would be nice to see your lives on the screen. It's always nice to have things like that in old school gaming, especially shoot em ups. Right, just destroyed the bridge. Luckily that truck got over the bridge before I blew it up. 13,200 points. That is a very, very difficult shoot em up. Right. Oh, look at that. It's a blimp. Okay, suckers. Okay, suckers, he says. Right, let's try and get to that blimp again. Right, I got here with no deaths, so I've still got three lives. But I'm going to try and get to that blimp again and try and destroy the blimp. Let's see what else this game has to offer. So this is definitely a good achievement. It's the best one yet. Keep the enemies at bay. 
even though we don't fire particularly much. That just clipped my wing there. Right, I've lost my first life, but this is a good attempt. Right, let's try and get to that blimp. Shoot the turrets, shoot the biplanes. Avoid everything. No weapon upgrades. Do we get extra lives? That's the question. Shoot the barrels. There are areas that you are safe, but not for very long. Right, where's that blimp? It's around here somewhere. Right, here's the train. Died here last time. I didn't this time. Okay, we're close. Around here somewhere. Okay, where's that blimp? Once again, I've blown up the bridge. Ugh. Extremely difficult shoot em up. But I do like shoot em ups. Right, there's the blimp. I destroyed the blimp this time. It stood no chance. It was gone before it even fully arrived onto the screen. Bridge has been destroyed. What's going to happen to him? He just drove straight through it. Well, then what's the point of having a bridge? Right, another choo choo train. Take a lot of hits, though. I take one hit to die. Now we're going over the sea. As expected, there'll be lots of boats. I'm assuming this is just one big long level. I just blew up that person's house. Time out, please. I need a time out. It's a good game. I like it. But my word, is it difficult. Reminds me of Swift because Swift does do the same thing. It goes over land, then water, then back to land again. If it does go back to land again, I'm assuming it will. If I get that far, of course. Right, loads of biplanes once again. There's so much going on. It's just too much to shoot at. Oh, I've got another life. Now, when you start another life, you do have a very, very short shield, but it doesn't last very long. I think that might be it. No, I've got another life. So you must earn extra life to score. Lie me. Woo! Still going. I'm still going. There's another blimp. I can't get this one. Oh my, there's two. Uh, that is chaotic. Absolutely chaotic. There we go. That was the best. Look at those bullets. How are you supposed to dodge that? That's insane bullets. There we go. That is Air Ace 2. We're starting this series off with a very, very difficult game. Okay, next on the list we have a Mastermind 1.1, the computer version of the classic board and peg game, Mouse. Could be interesting. Okay, so this is Mastermind. I used to own a board game of this in the old days, however I don't have it anymore. Okay, so jump to the game, you've got to try and guess the combination that the opponent has. So, we're going to go for my favourite colours, we'll go for blue and red, and then we'll go for black and white. White. So you put them where you think they go, and then if I've got it first time, I'll be absolutely delighted with that. Okay, now a white peg will appear. Any white pegs you receive will then tell you that you've got a correct colour, but not in the right location. If you get a black peg, that tells you that you've got the correct colour, and it's in the right location. So one of these colours is wrong. So that's not a bad start. So I'm going to put the blue there, we'll swap those two around, we'll put the black there, take away the white, and we'll go for a green. I think I got it. And we are the same again. So I'll put the blue there, I'll put the red there, and I think we'll go back to green again. Put the green there, and we'll go for yellow this time. Yellow. Right, two of those are now in the correct location. So I'm going to stick with red and blue being my favourite colours, and we'll put yellow there, 
and then possibly hmm, go for black. Right, two are in the right place. Again, I'll go with these. But then that's not the case, I don't think. Right, uh, so I took green away. Green definitely goes there then, it's got to. Um, now I guess you could have more than one of the same colour. I'm guessing, possibly, white there. Bingo! Wowzers! There we go! The combination was green, white, blue and red. I did it in five attempts. I'm pleased with that. Don't know how I got there, but I did. Boom! Have some of that! <laughs> okay, let's go again. Again, we'll go for blue, favourite colour. Red, second favourite colour. And we'll go for yellow, and we'll go for black. Okay. Blue, there. Red, there. Black, there. Yellow, no. White, there. Wowzers! There we go! Okay, one of them is in the correct location, but stick with blue. I do like blue. Red, there. White, there. No, white, there. Black, there. Woohoo! Three goes! That's the best one yet! It's a little bit trial and error, isn't it? There we go. Boom! Have some of that. Now we could try it like this. Black, there, 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 there. It's there. White. There, 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 there. Is there. Red. There, 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 there. Is not there. Green. There, 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 there. Is there. Blue. There, 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 there. Is there. So we know what colours we've got now. We've just got to put them in the right order. Blue there. Green. There. White. There. Black. There. Right, one of them is in the correct location. We'll go with black. White, there. Green, there. Blue, there. We'll go with black again. Black, there. White, there. Green, there. Blue, there. Boom! There we go! That's the other way around it. Boom! Next on the list is Amigatration. Find the matching cars until all the pairs of cars have been removed. It's a mouse game. Put the joystick down. Amigatration by Gabe Dalbeck. Copyright 1990. This is a cute little game, but of course, I assume no responsibility. Okay, Amigatration by Gabe Dalbeck. Player one, move zero, score zero. Okay. Right, it's one of these memory games. So, Amigatration as in concentration, I guess. So... Traffic lights. It's a ghost. With an ant face. What is that? Ice cream? Ah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. There, there. Okay. A light bulb. It means we have an idea. Knife and fork. Ant's head. I saw that. I saw that over here. Ghost. Tea. I've all made myself a cup of tea soon. There's a rugby ball. A ghost. I saw a ghost. Where did I see the ghost? Okay. So there. The building was around here somewhere. There. That man was. Tree, tree. My fork. No glasses. Glasses. Cigarette? No, no, it's a pencil. Uh, I've seen Pac-Man. I can't remember where. There. No, there. 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 Aha! Pac-Man. Light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. Lips. Ghost. Ghost. Not a fork. Pencil. I haven't seen the second pencil. Lips, lips. Now 
There we go. Congratulations, player one. Moves 48, score 18. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Okay, next on the list is Arena. A robot boxing game. Sounds interesting. This is a joystick. Sorry, no author's instructions available. A robot boxing game. Okay. Arena, 1992. Start or information? Okay, without the fire button, we have a move, move, low shield, and a high shield. With fire button, we have a laser, a rocket, and a machine gun. That doesn't happen in your usual game of boxing. Um, okay. Start. Okay, not your usual game of boxing. On the blue corner, it's me. And on the red corner is the computer. Now, this is not your usual game of boxing because boxing doesn't have robots. Not yet, anyway. Maybe in the future. But these are armed and dangerous with rocket launchers, machine guns, and lasers. Now, I've just won. I'm on the right. And I've just destroyed him with a huge explosion. There we go. That did sound quite loud on my headphones. That's why I'm shouting. But there we go. Short and sweet. The arena. Let's go again. Okay, once again. Let's go again. Both armed with the usual items, as you do in a usual game of robot boxing. Machine guns, lasers, and rocket launchers. They can block the bullets. Which none of us seem to be doing right now. But, again, very, very loud explosion. That's a win for me. And when they die, the alarm falls off. There we go. That is really, really short and sweet. But there we go. The Arena, 1992. Okay, next on the agenda, we have Assault. Uh, when a target appears, shoot them before they shoot you. This is a mouse game. Quite a lot of these games do seem to be on the mouse. Sorry, no author's instructions available. Never mind, we'll figure it out for ourselves. Ah, okay. It's the guy from Premier! Ah, right, okay. Assault. Again, no music. So I must put some music in. Oh, we do get music. Oh. Very, very short and sweet. D Bomb 1992. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, I've played this. I've played this in the old days. Yes, 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 yes. But that was very, very short and sweet. Get, Get ready. ready. I'm ready. Holy moly. Right, you got to be extremely quick. Shot Bart Simpson. Eat my short. You've literally got less than a second. You've... You've Get got ready. to be so quick. And you've got to be so precise. Game over, man. You've got to be Game so over. quick. And I'm not. Lie me. Can I hold the fire button down? Get ready. Right, okay. Shot Maggie, then I shot Bart. That was the best go yet. I don't know what I'm scoring Get though. Ready. I'm not paying much attention to what I'm actually scoring. Oh, blimey, you got me so quick. The problem is, the screen is big, the pictures are small, and the time to get to them is very, very short. So, you've got to be absolutely precise in getting it perfect every time. Get ready. That guy wasn't even looking. That's Bart Simpson. That's a guy who looks shocked. That's a guy who looks angry. And he guy shot me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. I got shot there. Get ready. Uh. 
Oh, that was the best one yet. Trouble is, I went from there right down to there. Oh, am I making progress? I don't even know. Get ready. Right, I'm keeping my finger on the button. Rapid fire. Unlimited fire. Unlimited bullets. It's noisier. It's working right now. The final enemies are quite close to whatever. Well, that's an improvement. However, I'm using a lot of bullets. Let's try to get 10 kills. There you go. Killed Maggie, then I killed your brother. Maggie doesn't seem to age in life, does she? Oh, that was the best one yet. That's going to take some beating. There we go. The bond presents assault. I'm definitely making progress, but this is never going to be a long play because it never will be. It's not that sort of game. Killed by Bart Simpson. I'm never watching The Simpsons again. High school is not be far away. <laughs> oh, that is it. I think that's the best I can do. What that? Seventeen. Okay, next on the list is Baldy. Collect all the discs to advance to the next level. Now, this I have played. This was also a demo on a cover disc. And so was the last one. That was also a demo I played on the cover disc. But there we go. Baldy. This is a joystick game. We have music! This is Baldy. The Search for the Missing Disc. A game I have played in the old days on a cover disc. Collect the disc, spread over 20 levels of chaos and fun. Press fire to play. Use joystick to control Baldy. Down his duck. Fire uses the teleport. Cabby Soft presents. Written by P. E. Jenkinson. Okay, this is Baldy, and this is a game I played lots in the old days. This is a very, very good game, actually. Right, it's a platformer. Now, the object of the game is to control your character, avoid the dangers, and collect the discs. Now, we have to avoid the arrows, avoid the spikes, and these platforms with the yellow on it, they are actually teleports. One press will actually teleport to where the one below it or above it is. But... Make sure it's literally just a single t tap. If you hold it down for too long, you'll go like that. So you've got to tap it once. Collect all the discs, and we go on to the next level. We start the game with five lives, and there are 20 levels. I played this loads in the old days, however, I've never completed it. Okay, so now we have more arrows. However, your character can duck. And he's got to. Now, some of these levels, I can really fly through. Now, there are twists to this game, because some of these arrows are actually shot at low range, so you can't duck them. You can't jump the arrows, you can only duck them. So, let's try and get a few levels done for this video, shall we? But it's a good game. Simple, but good. Well, no, it's not simple at all, really. The game is actually quite difficult. Next level! Okay, level three. Now, as you can see, we have a dart that's been shot at a much lower range. So we can't crouch. So we have to uh, avoid it using the teleports. Ooh, blimey, got me so quick at times. Uh, that one just skimmed the top of my head. Okay. Got it. Every time he collects a disc, he says, got it. I got it. Got it. Next level. 
Okay, next level. Here we go. The search for the missing discs. The discs are here. Right, we've got three of them being shot now, but make sure we duck. Otherwise, our head will get decapitated. It won't, actually. Some of these darts do get shot at a much faster speed. Now, when you're teleporting, you can actually teleport while you're crouching. Sometimes that can get you out of dangerous situation because you don't want to teleport and then get shot in the face by a dart. You got it? You got it. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that? Right. Getting shot by an arrow at low range straight from the go. So I'm guessing there are five floppy disks per level. Uh, right, now we... Right, uh... Okay. Got it. No, I haven't got it. Oh, I see. Me being a nincompoop. Now that bottom dart is going at very, very slow speed. Got it. Got it. Got it. Next level. Right, now we have lemmings. Now, this is difficult because they don't stick to the same pattern. And we also get a hamburger being shot from left to right. Now, you don't hear that every day. You don't be killed by a burger. And you definitely will be killed by a lemming. Because lemmings don't have the best lives, really, do they? Right, I got hit in the face by a burger, and it killed me. There we go. Made a bit of a meal of that one. See what I did there? Getting hit in the face by a burger and dying is definitely not a nice way to go. But then it shouldn't really, should it? Something definitely not right there. There we go. Got it. Got it. Level 8. Now we have skulls on the floor. I got shot in the foot. This guy's not having a good day. He's been hit in the face by a hamburger and they got shot in the foot and that killed him both times. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong way and I got shot in the, f the head. Okay, let's go again, but let's try and speed run it this time. Once you learn the pattern, you really can. But then on the early levels, they're quite straightforward, really. Okay, but watch out for those arrows. Uh, right, Jamie, going the wrong way. Got it. Watch out for the arrows. Quite comical to listen to, isn't it? Got it. Got it. Next level. <laughs> I'm not drinking, by the way. I'm not drinking at all. Got it. Got it. Played it loads in the old days. I forgot all about this one. Okay. Ooh! Arrows and sp spikes. Some of these platforms, it's quite difficult to see those lines. The lines are the ones you can teleport. Imagine if you use auto fire. Look at that. <laughs> there we go, that's what happens. So make sure you just tap the button, don't hold it down because you'll do that. Right, we're back to the lemmings and the hamburgers. Do not underestimate the power of a lemming and a hamburger. And both of them at the same time is an evil combination. Both can be killable. Right. Ooh. Is this a 
tricky level. It's that burger. That really does make it difficult. And you need good timing because that lemon doesn't make it easy either. Now in Lemmings, if your Lemming were to fall from a big height and he didn't have an umbrella, that will result in a death. This Lemming has played a, planned ahead and done the right thing in using an umbrella. Here we go! Level 7 done! Is this the last one? Nope. Here we go! Good stuff! Level 8 complete! I don't know if I got this far in the old days. I don't think so. Woohoo! Right, I've never got this far. I definitely haven't got this far. There's a game called Aztec Challenge, and the final level of that, you can also be killed by a flower pot. And those flower pots do also fall from the sky. That is the slowest dart in the world. If you had darts that slow in uh, a game of darts, that'd be a long game. There we go, level 10! Now what we got? Okay, now we got two... Darts. And I got hit by a TV screen. I didn't even get to describe that one. There we go. That was the furthest point I ever got. Unfortunately, I didn't get much further because I wasn't expecting to be hit by a TV screen. Okay, next on the list is Battle Car. Kill the opposing car before the time runs out. Also, Joystick. Okay, never played it before. I don't think I have. I will in a minute. Battle Cars is a one or two player game played inside an arena with each player being equipped with an armour plated car and a big gun at M... I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> wow, we wow wow. My lord, that took ages. I didn't even read it. Right, okay, well I'll take your word for it. Blimey. Battle Cars. Copyright 1991 by David Jameson. I don't think I've played it, but you never know. I might have done. Please enter your name. Use the joystick. Okay, I will indeed. J. A. The CD32 does not have a keyboard. However, if you've got the right lead, you can. Well, I don't have the right lead, so I can't. There we go. Where's the enter? How many symbols are there? Well, what is an enter? Blimey. Right. One player, easy. One player, medium. One player, hard. Two player, game. We'll go for easy. Jamie versus the computer. Da, da, da. Oh, okay. Again, no music. But we have sound effects. No, I've not played this before. Judging by how I'm playing, I think you can probably tell I've not played this before. Okay. So this is against a computer, but this is the easiest level. It's a good place to start if you haven't played it before. Right, up is accelerate. Down is break. Fire is fire. And I'm stuck... Right, I'm stuck next to a wall. Right, okay. So I'm a car. This is an unusual arena. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, you do have an ammo level. Well, I'm going at zero miles per hour. I'm assuming I am draining his energy. Shoot the car! This car is not taking any damage. Jamie wins! Hmm. Okay. Okay, one player medium. JB versus the computer. So I'm guessing this car is going to fight back. 
I don't know. Or move faster? Probably move faster. Yeah, a lot faster. Right, it's just a case of just shooting the car as fast as you can. Now he's going to continue going round in a loop. So it's a case of just being accurate with your driving and your shooting, Jamie. Don't drive into a wall. Is this car playing chicken? No. I think this car is playing hide and seek. He's hiding behind the wall. Whoa! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Cars on this game do look like the cars in hard driving. I haven't played that game for years. That is a really, really different game. I might do it as a stream one day. Woohoo! My lord! Hard! My lord, okay. Jamie versus the computer on hardest difficulty. Which means this car is gonna be super speedy. Where is the car? Ah! Right, this car is very good at hide and seek. I think he's hiding behind the walls! Crazy driver! Yes, yes, yes. Whoa, okay. The car went through me. Ah, I went the other way! Do it again! Ah. Shoot! I have you now! Follow the car! Shoot the car! <laughs> oh my lord, my ammo is... Oh, actually, it's not bad, actually. Oh, the computer wins! How? You got away? There's nowhere to go! It's one big square! Alright. Oh, I lost that one. Next is Battleships. We've had Battle Car, now it's Battleships. A version of the pencil and paper game. Joystick. Paper and pencil game? What's it talking about? No instructions available. Do I need a pad and pencil for this? Welcome to Battleship. Wow. Would you like some help, Tom? Yes, please. The objective of the game is to sink aircraft carrier, battleships, submarines, and destroyers. Each of the ships at least two pieces to it. The actual number of pieces for each ship is an aircraft carrier with five, battleships with four, submarines three, destroyers two. Each ship can be orientated horizontally or vertically. The next few screens contain some examples. Press left mouse button in window or gadget. To sink a battleship, you must hit all four of its pieces. Press left mouse button or the great... Well, I know how to play battleships, yes. Or the battleship could look like this. The pieces look like this. When starting the game, you must enter in the positions of your ships. You do this by simply pressing the mouse button to where you want... Well, I know how to, I know how to play... I know how to play it. Blimey, okay. Place aircraft carrier, place three on the board. I didn't actually mean to do that. Okay, we go there, 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 there. Oh, poo, I've messed it up. Hey? Eh? Huh? How? What's going on? 
going on here? Okay. How many ships do I have? Oh, shot. Miss. This is very loud. have sunk my battleship! Oh, you just hit my submarine. But I didn't place him particularly well, I didn't know what I was doing. You sunk my carrier! Okay, right, okay, you're probably gonna hit them all now, because I did place them quite close together. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Uh, let's try this corner. Yeah, now you've hit another one. You s I sunk your submarine! Well, yeah, I did place him particularly well. Uh, I'm hitting your submarine! Payback time! Okay. There we go! This is the loudest game of battleships I've ever played in my life. I don't know how loud it is for this video, I have no idea. You sunk my submarine! Well, you deserved it! You sunk mine! Okay, uh... There we go, I'll hit you again! I don't feel bad about it! It's very loud. going on? Oh, even to do that. Oh, I see. Right. You've got... Right, I see what I... I'm actually hitting two of yours now! Right. Oh! Ah! Oh. Okay. Right, you're now hitting quite a lot of mine now, but then that's because I placed them really, really badly, because I didn't realise... ...what I was doing. I'm not proud of getting battleships in a twist, really. I have sunk your battleship! But then you're doing exactly the same to me! So many versions of battleships I played in the old days, but I didn't realise there was one like this. You just shot in exactly the same square I did. Are you copying me? I've sunk your submarine! There's a lot of noises going on, there's a lot of destruction, a lot of splashes, a lot of sinking going on. I've sunk your submarine! Ha 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 ha! Right. I think you might... Much well, it's funny you say that because I'm currently sinking one of yours. However, I'm missing at the moment. That's one of the problems with battleships. In a normal. My lord! Okay, I won! Congratulations! You win! Excellent! I think we know a lot about it, really, but there we go! That's a win for me. Okay, two more to go on this video. Uh, this one's called Beast. Not Shadow the Beast, but we trap and kill the monster. This is a mouse game once again. 
Siege of the Beast by Nick Torkos, September the 7th, 1991. Please select the number of men to use. Oh, it's mouse. Uh, right now you have 15 soldiers. We'll go in the middle. Plus one. Okay. Oh my lord, okay. Select soldier to move. This is like extreme chess. Um. Okay. Diagonally. Okay. So can they only move diagonally? Is he going to die? He's changed direction. Right, they can only move one. So what we got to do, I'm assuming we've got to try and box him into a corner. Which is why having more players makes it easier. He ate me. Please select a soldier to move. How do I attack the beast? Because he ate one of my players. No. I think I need to read the instructions because I don't know what I'm doing. All I seem to be doing is just moving around and every time I move my players then get eaten by a snake. You must use your men wisely. It is not possible to surround the beast with eight men or less. Even though the snake looks wild and unorthodox, it is intelligent enough to find out the unprotected soldiers and eat them. If it eats enough so that you only have eight men left, it is too late. The snake wins the battle and slaughters everyone. However, if you can trap it so that it can't move, the village will be saved. Click the mouse over the square the man you want to move is standing on. You will hear a sound and the man you select will be highlighted. You can move in any direction you want up, down, left or right diagonally, but only one square at a time. Right, the snake can also move in the same directions. However, it can also eat your man. Which he's done quite a few times. If he is unprotected, i.e. the space behind him is empty. This is similar to the way you would jump a man in checkers. Except the snake can also do this going up, down, left, right, in addition to going diagonally. For example, if the snake is on the square just above one soldier and the square below that soldier is unoccupied, then the snake will eat it. Will eat the soldier. To protect the soldier, you have to put another soldier just below him... The same logic goes if the snake is to the left of the soldier and there is an empty space to the right of the soldier, etc. So you've got to trap the snake. If you've got eight players or less, the snake wins. Okay, I've had a read of the instructions. I'm going to give it another try. I think, I think I've got it. Now the snake will eat people that aren't protected by others. So if the snake is in the top position, and there is one person below him, and there's no one behind him, he's not protected. So that snake can eat that person. Surely this is in the bag now. It's gotta be. This has not been an easy task. It still isn't an easy task. This has been extremely difficult to do. But the space is so narrow. For the snake, for the beast. Now it's like chess. You gotta get him in checkmate so he can't move. Now I haven't lost any players. Not one. Right, so he can't take anybody. He can't move. Well he can move, he can't he can't eat anybody. I don't think so. I don't think he can. Gotta be so careful. One mistake, 
and it makes a huge dent. Put him there. He'll go to there. I'll close that gap. Right. That put him there. That protects him. Again. Everyone's protected. I don't, I don't actually know what space is on. It's hard to tell. So the state of play is the snake has got one, two, three, four, five spaces still to work with. At the moment, all my players are safe. But one mistake can change it. So I've got to try and bring in additional soldiers just to sort of make it a little bit more secure. Right. Now. Put him. There. Got you. I have you now. He'll move up. I move him there. Which protects him. And he's still not. He's still not been beaten. Right. Okay. The state of play is he's boxed in. He's really boxed in here. If I put him there, he'll take him. So who can I move that's not going to die? If I put him... If I put him... There, he's safe. Right... Right, hold on. If I put him there... Him... There, he's safe. Right. Now put him there. Because he will be protected. Right? Close that gap, which makes him safe. I have no idea how he's still moving. So, close the gap once again. This is one of the most nerve-wracking games I've played in a long time. So, if I put him there... Put him there. He's safe. took ages. Hooray! The village has been saved. That snake is now officially either stuck or dead. Or dead and stuck. That took ages. Blimey. Check mate snake. Okay, the final one of this video is Bomb Jackie. A PD version of Bomb Jack. Now, Bomb Jack is an absolutely fantastic game. Sorry, no author's instructions available. But this is Joystick. Hopefully, anyway. Oh, no. Dead already. Game over. That is probably the biggest game over screen I've ever seen in my life. I think we're fair to say it's game over. Okay, this is Bomb Jackie, which is very, very similar to Bomb Jack, for obvious reasons. Now, the object is as you expect. We will go around finding and collecting all of the bombs. Now, our character looks like a robot, but it does have a jetpack. Now, this game is tricky because of one particular enemy, that green thing. I don't know what it is, but it follows you all over the place, and it also goes through the walls. And you can't seem to shake him off. However, I am actually invincible at the moment. So, 
At the moment, I can't be killed by that mystery evil item. Now there's enemies bouncing over the place, there are textiles falling from the sky, I don't know what they all do. But, at the moment, I'm just trying to stay alive. Now I'm assuming this guy is a robot. The screen is shaking around like there's no tomorrow. Did I run out of time? I might run out of time. Now when you die, or run out of time in this case, all the bombs return to where they were. And you've got to go and do it again. So, keep an eye on the time. But it does go extremely fast. If you start the game with five lives. Right, okay. What is that there? A tortoise? Are the enemies frozen? Possibly. Right, this has a really dancey soundtrack. Right, how many more bombs do I need? Or do I have to find the exit? Possibly find the exit, but look at my time. Boy, the snail. There we go! So is it just the one single level? No, it's not. It's two levels. Maybe more. We'll see. But now we're in space. Let's... Oh, no. Well, what's your intent to pee? The little cat's just died quite a comical way. Okay. So have we got that in enemy that was haunting me the last level? No. We do have this bouncing ball which keeps killing me right now. Right. Three more there. There we go. Collect those. Collect the 1,000 points. And does your time replenish at the end of the stage? Right, get to the exit quickly, Jamie. My lord, how tight is that time? Right, this one is very, very open. Right, now we're in the beach. Now, I'm not looking forward to going into that middle section. That is going to be very, very difficult. This cloud is quite big. Oh my lord, we're out of time again. Game over. I'm going to do this. Right, we've got the difficult ones out of the way first. Now go up the top, collect these, and then hurry up, Jamie. Go as fast as you can. This guy has got a lot to do, but in no time to do it. Right, collect those. There we go, we fall onto the door. Okay, level four. The time in this game is unbelievable. Okay. Every second you waste is so much time. Why does it have to be so mean with the time in this game? Right. Move, move, move. Move, move. See, that's wasted time. Just that one. Okay. Get to the door. I would, yes. There we go. Blimey, how difficult was that? Level 5? Right, what's the tactic here? Oh, I see. Do this way. Oh my lord. Yeah, follow me. Follow me so I can get out of there. Blimey. Why do you get a lot of time though, I've noticed? We have time! Extra time! It's the wrong level though, you should have done it on the last one. Right, last go, last life. Last go for this video. You know I'm trapped in the corner. I can crouch. What is that thing? Looks like a melon been cut in half. 
Oh no. Go away! Stop chasing me, there's more things you can be doing in your time than chasing me around. Where is he? I lost him. Where's the sliced piece of melon gone? I know what's going to happen. I'm going to run out of time. I'm actually making good progress. And now I'm going to run out of time. I know it. Look at that time. Now it's not giving me any extra time. I don't believe it. I've actually got rid of that piece of melon. And now I'm going to run out of time. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh dear. There we go, cue the big, massive, gigantic game over screen. But there we go, that is from Jackie. Okay everybody, that is the end of part one of my, now that's what I call games, CD32 100 game playthrough. Hopefully you enjoyed it, if you want me to continue with these, I will. I'll be uploading one, maybe two of these per month, and eventually I'll get through all 100 games. Some of them are quite good, and some of them are atrocious. But it's been a great fun, and hopefully it will continue. But anyways, James you this games, please like, please comment, please share. And please do subscribe to my channel, I have a Facebook fan page, on Instagram, also on Twitch. Just type in more in this game, you should find it fairly easily. And please remember to click on the bell icon, that will notify you when your videos upload. Fantastic, when I'm not doing these sort of videos, I do have maybe baking, live streams, every Friday night, at UK time, at 8 o'clock. It's the whole of my week. Until next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye, see ya. Air Ace 2. Not Air Ace 1, I didn't know there was an Air Ace 1, but I didn't know there was an Air Ace 2. I'll do a couple of videos uploaded each month, but each video is going to have 100 games. No. Get ready. I got shot by Maggie Simpson. However, in one of the episodes of The Simpsons, she actually did shoot someone. She shot Mr. Burns. You shot me as well. And you want me to count? Right. Jamie, you're struggling. You haven't even played a single game yet. You've got 100 to do. So over the course of time, eventually I'll get through all 100 videos. And... 100 videos? Jamie... 100 games? Okay. Well, we've started. We have now officially begun. One game done. 99 still to go. Right, we can adjust the size. Oh my lord. Look at that! You can actually extend it by that. So this is going to take me ages. Shot him. Keep my shorts. Ah! Game over, man. Maybe. I don't know. No. Right, okay. That was actually looking quite promising. Now I'm not so sure. Okay, everybody, that is the end of my video. This is part one of the 